I had to work quite hard and uh, to raise money to pay for the building. When we opened the building, the um, we were about two and a half thousand in debt or uh, owed two and a half thousand, which I had to repay, and we repaid it within about three years through efforts uh, such as dances, heyday, um, walks, whatever, and. Um, and also ran the 200 Club, which turned in two and a half thousand pounds. Um, and this paid off the debt and, and um, put it on a good level kill. The old hall was a Nissan hut, which was an ex um, Army or Air Force uh, Nissan hut, bought two of them and um, put them together, made one of it. And it served its purpose from about 1946 uh, until it was pulled down in 1971. Um, but by that time, it had got very ropey. It was leaking; the roof was leaking, and it was really badly in need of uh, replacing. There was uh, obviously the village hall committee and plus a few others. And that involved um, an event which was held on the August Bank Holiday Monday <coughs> of each year. And um, that drew a, a, a big crowd. It, it became a very popular thing, really. Oh gosh, there was plenty to do on the day. The, ma the main work, work, obviously, was the 12 months before. We used to start planning um, at least 12 months ahead. Hopefully, we used, we used to like to, enter, um, to inform people what was coming the following year. Donkey Derby, that was always the uh, a, a popular, popular thing. Which we, we, yeah, we finished, usually finished off the day with that. People paid to, to take part in and uh, sit on the back of a donkey, which is not easy, and race around the, the, the main ring. The we didn't have the carnival every year. Um, I think on one occasion, the, from what I remember, the carnival was a separate event, but we, we did have it um, um, before a day. Uh, we used to, from what I remember then, we started down at um, Edwards Mill on, on, on the wharf and came up from there. But uh, on another occasion, it was on the Saturday night um, before the dance. We used to have dances down there, a lot of dances. And the carnival took place before before the dance. But, but it raised a, a lot of money. It, it, it you know, went a long, long way to paying for the, the cost of the hall, really. Yeah, people got in, involved. I mean, it, it was a real village event. quite well used um, and there was a good community spirit there. The local people really got behind it and um, took it off the ground. Yeah, yeah, the, I mean the, the main band at that time were, were, were called the Clavitones and uh, I think we used to limit the, we used to limit the um, tickets to 200 and um, we, we always almost sold out. I don't know if you'll be allowed to put 200 in here now, but on the, in those days you, you, you could, we had about 200 people. Well, yes, the A Day started a few years before the new old project started, really. Um, and it, it was very, very successful. Um, in fact, one, one year we was rained off. Um, it really poured down and we had to cancel it, but the next day we rearranged it for the Bank All Day Monday, the August Bank All Day. I think the original date was sometime in July. And we re rearranged it for the August Bank All Day and I think that was the best hay day we ever had. Um, I actually got hold of a friend of mine that worked at Cold Rose and they, they supplied a, 
a helicopter to come in and land and you know, of course, I mean, the helicopter was something in those days. Mm -hmm. And um, it, um, it, we had really good, good times and, and raised quite a lot of money through our eight days. When, when the hall was built, the, um, I think the architects at the time said that the, um, it would be a building suitable for the next 20, 25 years. And here we are super, uh, celebrating 40 years. And the hall's still in good, good. I mean, all right, there've been certain amount of repairs and then upkeep to it, but it's still in good order. We had uh, Mrs. Spargo that um, was producer of some of the plays and, and Mrs. Janie Furs um, produced one or two that um, they, they, they put on a quite a good show, really. In fact, we took it to um, Falmouth the year that the hall was being rebuilt, um, because obviously there was no place here, and they took it to the Arts Fair to Falmouth and put it on for about three nights and had quite good uh, response. A lot of hard work, really, uh, and we put in a lot of time. With my, my late wife and uh, and the family actually, we, we did spend a lot of time there, and and really enjoyed working for it. You know, we got a lot of pleasure. We had a lot of work, but we had a lot of pleasure from it as well. And you know, we, we was all friends together. Um, and uh, yes, the the committee were more or less all locals at that time, and um, everybody got on very well together. We had a lot of pleasure out of our work. Over time things change and I guess the village reflects those wider influences that are going on. So we do need to make sure I think, that the village hall itself is if I can put it this way, as welcoming as it can be to every age group. It, it is uh, very strongly used by the community. I think we had last year over 1,200 bookings. Um, but so long as there is a community around the, in, in the parish, then there will be a need for a facility like this where people can get together. Bookings is or some there every day and sometimes two or three times a day that um, it's it is well used by locals and some outsiders as well. Well, you said it's special. I'll agree with you there. It is a place that I wouldn't like to live anywhere else. I wasn't born here. I was born at Stillians. I came here when I was ten. I've been here now sixty nine years. But um, it, it is a good community to live in. And, um, you know, I, um, I recommend it to anybody if, if they got the um, will to come here to live, probably so. But um, yes, it is a good community. We're very proof of it.